<laughs> well, I thought we'd go the other two weeks. We were just chit chatting um, before um, you guys arrived, and we were talking about the, the work today. Um, it was all day with uh, new employees, in particular um, teachers. And so we had 20 here um, that we worked with doing new employee orientation, and Natalie worked with them on some learning services uh, stuff. Chris worked uh, on the tail end with EdTech. And so the 20, um, 17 teachers, and then two other employees of the departments. And then um, after we were done, I went back to my office, and we got a letter of acceptance for our fifth grade position. Oops. So we filled that, so South Mountain is South full, Mountain. Okay. except uh, uh, for a social worker, but we got that covered for right now, for a full-time social worker. Um, but across the board, all of our teaching positions are full, except for the kinder position we just had to uh, create um, day before yesterday. Because so, of numbers. Because the numbers, the numbers are high. So again, the numbers went up high. We had to add an FTE to um, Moriarty Elementary School for kindergarten. Okay. We just did that on Tuesday afternoon. Um, but every other teaching position, um, knock on wood, two background <laughs> checks coming back will be full to start the school year. We wow. haven't had 70 kindergartners in a kindergarten class in one school in 10 years. That's oh, what I would wow. say in a decade. Yeah, it's yeah. yes. exciting. It's and our other, and, exciting. and when you go to other positions as well, we are only lacking um, in special ed EA at Moriarty Elementary um, for the Odyssey program. And they're doing interviews and it looks like we'll have a full staff at early childhood with EAs as well. So we could be fully staffed, if not by the end of next week for sure, by the eighth or ninth. Yeah. It's so exciting. And, then, <laughs> that, and that, that's for every department. Um, it, the transportation again is they're working on. But yeah. 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 So it's good. It's good work. Yeah, they've been hustling. Huh? Don't be good. That's my job. My numbers are good. I'm looking good. It's like so. Yeah, but usually we don't look at kindergarten until like the day they show up. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Be right. And, and so. Can get more. That's true. Yeah. And, and with that, because numbers are a little bit um, smaller at some of the other schools, we were overstaffed with some educational assistance kinder, and we've had volunteers um, to go to Moriarty Elementary and help out. So we didn't have to add any FTE, they're just shifting them around a bit, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's good. And they're experienced educational assistants in kinder. Yeah, so that's exciting. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'll turn the mic Let's see, how do I turn the mic yeah, I got it. Yeah. When did you guys have it? I used to have some. Oh, you didn't have some. Yeah, I had a chicken. Okay. You had it. You had it too, right? Three times. You guys ready? I don't think I've had one. Yes. Yes. All right, I'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. Start the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute the flag of the state of New Mexico to be a symbol of perfect friendships among united cultures. Adoption of the agenda. Mr. President, members of the board, I recommend that you approve the uh, agenda for this evening, or this afternoon. As is? As is. Uh -huh. So we have a recommendation from Superintendent Salazar to approve uh, the adoption of the agenda uh, as is. I'll need a motion. So, and a second? Second. So I have a motion and a second. All members in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Welcome to all our guests. <laughs> Um, pretty short, so hopefully it should move relatively quick, and it's really close now. Like the last time it was, what did I say, 16 days or something like that, now we're like single digits. Single digits. Yes. Yeah. Single digits. This, this is getting real. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting very real. And you can feel the buzz everywhere, like every, parents, teachers, yeah, it's really exciting. Mm -hmm. So great time of year, very busy. Mm -hmm. All right, approval of minutes. Mr. President, members of the board, um, again, 
uh, by amazing Miss Patty getting her stuff done, I would recommend that you approve the minutes from the regular meeting on July 19th. All right, so I have a recommendation from Superintendent Salazar to approve the regular meeting minutes from July 19th, 2022. Any questions, changes, modifications? All right, so if there's none, I'll need a motion. I move that we approve the minutes from July 19th. All right, we need a second. I'll second. So we have a motion and a second. All members in favor say aye. Aye. All right, moving on. Close executive session. Mr. President, members of the board, I recommend that we go into closed executive session to discuss possible litigation under section 10-15-1H7 and discussion of purchase, acquisition, disposal of real property as permitted under section 10-15-1-H8. <laughs> All right. So we have a recommendation from Superintendent Salazar to enter into executive session. Uh, Possible litigation is permitted under section 10-15-1H7, 10 10 discussion of purchase, acquisition, or disposal of real property as permitted under section 10-15-1, sections H and 8. Um, we'll need a roll call vote uh, to enter into executive session. Should we do, I guess we should do a motion first. Motion yeah, so we need a motion first to enter into executive session. I'll motion to I'll need a second. I'll second. So we have a motion and a second. Now we will do roll call vote. Starting with Ms. Madeline Hudson, vote yay. Nay, yes. Yay. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <Aye. laughs> Whitney Burns, yes. Robert Chavez, yes. Elizabeth Howes, yes. Charles Arneo, yes. Four oh five. You can say we're leaving. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Session, no other topics than those listed on the agenda were discussed, nor were any actions taken during the closed executive session. And we were out of it. Moving on to the business section. Purchases over $20,000. Uh, I think we should probably just open the floor up uh, to conversation um, concerning this this action item. Uh, you know, it it, it is a um, an option that the district uh, has. It's it's part of our policy and our procedure that you know for uh, something uh, of this value that you know that we have to uh, get board approval. Um, that being said, um, in fact, I wish I would have pulled my laptop up so I could have looked at the, the actual you want mine? purchase order. No, I'll be fine. I'll be good. Um, yeah, I'm good because I did, I did look at it pretty close. It, that'll work, thank you. The, it's a little bit different than like the um, the item coming up later on the agenda. The procurement's a little bit different, you know. So this one's through CES, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so we uh, through CES we can move um, forward with something like this as an action item. Um, this is an option that we would have um, to fund uh, demolition ourselves on our, on our own backs. That being said, um, you know, I, I think the thing that has sort of sparked the conversation, you know, this whole, this whole idea of, of um, dealing with a couple of our buildings that, that don't have students in them, um, aged buildings built, you know, is um, the fact that the 
legislature uh, allotted money. And the fact that that money was available um, to our district, um, all districts really, but you know, uh, it seemed to come at a, at a good time where we can address some of those issues. You know, where we're not having to continue to put funds into um, a building that does not serve our students. So, you know, I, I myself feel that the quote was for both buildings, right? The, the, not yeah, this all one. of the south, uh, just the south building um, of, at Edgewood Elementary School. Yeah, yeah. So this one is independent of uh, Barbara. Oh, okay. So, you know, I, I, for, I myself in this conversation feel that. Um, that that money can be spent um, throughout the district in a different way, you know. Um, so I mean, that it's kind of you know my feeling as I as I looked at this and and, and it arrived because um, I know a member wanted to see it on the agenda, uh, maybe multiple. I didn't really ask too many questions of you on that, but um, you know. But the more I thought about it and I've contemplated it. You know, I really feel that, um, at least for right now, we, we, we should lean on the process of, uh, the process that we've already begun, the process that we've already voted on, uh, and pursuing those funds through PSFA. I, I just feel like that, you know, this is my opinion. You know, you, we can all bounce ideas off one another. Um, but I just wanted to kind of start the conversation with, um, we've, you know, I, I think it would be uh, better for our local tax base, you know, that if we can utilize the PSFA funds and keep this process moving forward uh, to take advantage of those funds. But any other comments? I would agree with you that I would like to wait for the state funding. Mm -hmm. But having said that, um, I'm also greatly concerned about the trespassing um, that has occurred in the building. Um, the health and safety of people. Um, you know, there is um, problems with the building, whether some people believe that or not. Mm -hmm. There is. There's asbestos. There's um, the, the roof. You know, they got on the roof. What if somebody fell through the roof? That's, you know, they would have sued us. So, and not only that, they, you know, they could have gotten seriously injured. You know, not even worrying so much about that, but I, I, that just that piece of it bothers me. It really concerns me. Um, so um, I feel like we should possibly um, table it, but I would ask that maybe we table it, but we maybe bring it bring it back eventually if we need to, or keep an eye on the situation because I mean that that's a lawsuit for us too. Well, and I, and I want to make sure I'm clear because the, the conversations that we've had in the previous meetings, I mean, we've identified the, the reasons why fiscally it would be responsible for this district right. to continue with it. Mm -hmm. um, but right. uh, I also still want to be, you know, so I want to be clear that I still identify that as, as being necessary mm -hmm. and that we um, adhere to the process, the process that has been started, you know, by the vote, by the discussions mm -hmm. that we've had in previous meetings um, and that we continue those conversations in hope um, you know that that we are successful in uh, receiving that money from PSFA right. Right. you know so um, absolutely absolutely I, I think and, and, and like I say I feel like that can go um, you know we, we we have the ability it's there we have you know if, if, um, but if, if we um, can stay the course, I, I really feel it would benefit to uh, our students, our staff, um, to, to kind of hang on to that uh, right. that, that amount that was um, in the uh, board packet. Um, you know, so that, that so I just want to make sure that I was clear with that, so right. that, that piece right. of it. So. I agree with both of you that we need to, you know, hold on to our money, keep our money together until PSFA comes back, and then try to address the trespassing and then the health and safety of the building and try to keep people from gaining entrance into the building until those PSFs for safety reasons. For safety reasons, yeah. absolutely. 
I too am in total agreement um, with waiting for the PSFA um, and go from there. Well, I think the intent of the bill, well, you know, there was. There well, was the, the, the initial intent yeah. was always to use the money because it was there from PSFA. Yeah. Right. And I would, well, the intent yeah. of the bill as well is was to take some of the burden off of public public school school districts from having to fund this. I mean, this this has always been on the backs of mm -hmm. school districts before mm -hmm. um, that bill, and that bill's not forever. That's the other piece of this. I mean, is mm -hmm. you know, and we, I think we, um, can I yeah. interject? Mm -hmm. They had come up with that bill just because we. Um, I remember Teresa Salazar and I had a conversation with Charles Salee from the Legislative Finance Committee that they had the initial intent of that bill was to help school districts throughout the state that have too many old, there's too many old school buildings still standing that need to, to come down and nobody wants to pay to take them down. And that was where that had initiated. Yeah, absolutely, I, I yeah. you know, and, and I think as we, I think as we move forward with, with a vision for this district and, you know, I think at the beginning, just you know, informally, when you know, we were listening to the numbers of our kindergarten classes, I mean, mm -hmm. for the first time since I've been on the board, you know, our, our student population is swinging the other way. That we are we are gaining kids, and um, you know, I, I think that we have to challenge ourselves to have a vision for something bigger and better on, on the horizon. So, uh, I, I think that. We can do that twofold, um, you know, by by allowing PSFA to continue, you know, our application through the PSFA process, um, and then allowing that other money uh, to to do things for our kids, mm -hmm. you know, to 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 support the buildings that are currently in use. I, I did I sort of took a um, you know I visited one of the buildings the other day and. Um, you know, even where we have kids, we have our work cut out for us. There, there are still holes in our um, ability to just completely, you know, I mean, there's just, there's, there's always gonna be um, priorities, and I could see that, you know, and I, I think it's good uh, for us to visit, and I look forward to our, our, our visits, but, you know, we still have um, some places that we, we need to improve our campuses, and so, um, it really motivated me, you know, as I, you know, look, contemplated this, that that we, we should uh, continue doing the good work and keep putting money where uh, it benefits our kids and our staff. Um, and may I ask, um, where are we at with the application process? So it has been submitted and um, has gone in front of the PSCOC um, for. Uh, to let them know that the application has been submitted mm -hmm. and um, it will go to the committee meeting in October. I don't know the exact date on that. So we're looking at October. Yes, I think it's mid-October. Mm -hmm. <coughs> any other questions? Anybody have any comments? I myself, uh, I think I'd like to move forward. I mean, if, if you have a recommendation, we would hear it, but I, I think I would like to make a motion to um, table this until a further date. Um, it's not often to hear me make a motion. So <laughs> I usually let you guys do that. I'll but, second your motion. All right. So we have a motion uh, and a second to table until a further date uh, the purchase order over $20,000, the PR467. CES Grand Core. Um, so we have a motion a second. All members in favor of tabling it to a further date, say aye. 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 All right. That was everybody. Motion passes. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, I think we should.
Is there a note on that page? Okay. Um, Mr. President, members of the board, what you have in front of you are the score sheets from the two RFPs that we received um, for the MHS ball fields. They came in very close, as you can see the score at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. um, really the determining factor is that Hella's Construction specializes in this type of work, um, whereas Bradbury Sam um, has a lot of experience as a general contractor, not necessarily on doing fields. Hella's also happened to be the lower price, so that helped her score as well. <laughs> um, there's also um, some ad alternates that we have been bid, um, and there's four different ones. There's uh, alternate one, furnish and install pool boxes and conduits, um, and pull string for future lights. And then there's alternate two is two scoreboards. Um, ad alternate three was a batter's eye and um, ad alternate four was the removal of irrigation and actually putting gravel, so taking out the, um, uh, what do they call it? Um, revegetation. Revegetation. So <coughs> take that out and put gravel. Um, so, which we thought would be less because you weren't having to put all the uh, sprinkler heads and all the different stuff in, but it's actually more expensive. So I guess that the gravel is more expensive than um, that. So um, um, after you ask your questions, when I give my recommendation, I'm only going to be uh, recommending one of the ad alternates at this time, um, because I think that even with the lights and stuff, I think that there may be some confusion in what we want. want. So we would renegotiate that with them and make sure that they had an understanding of what it was, and then bring that back to the board at a later time. Um, if we wanted to add the lights. Um, and it's not even adding lights to it, it's only adding the conduit boxes so we can put lights in the future. So, um, but it's always better to put that in yes. um, yeah. while we have it all dug up so mm -hmm. that you're not having to do that afterwards. Well, but I've never done that. <laughs> never planned ahead? <that> <laughs> like, where's the lights? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually, we'll come <laughs> mark these. <laughs> so, I, I, I some of the projects that we went into, I, I, just at the high school, I just mm -hmm. remember it's like, ask so and so. He died 20 years ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the ass belts never. Yeah, the belts, yeah. They're never right. They're never, I don't know who draws those. Mr. Ass or Mr. Mm -hmm. Belt. <laughs> but they're not right. <laughs> <laughs> they're lying in the name. That's, uh, do you have any questions for us on this? Um, with Hella, their timeline is they could start August 12th. Yeah and be complete by March 20th. Um, they already have a crew in New Mexico, so that's how the quick turnaround, um, if you approve the bid. Um, are they New Mexico based? Um, they're actually nationwide. Uh, I believe their home base is in Colorado, so if you notice at the top, they didn't get the extra points for being a local, right. okay. a local company. Um, however, they have done a lot of the NFL fields around the country. They have done a lot of fields here in New Mexico as well. Artesia Pawake, um, they sent us, I don't even know how many lists of um, projects that they've done. Um, they sent a map of the United States with little dots of all of the fields that they've done and it looks like a T-Mobile <laughs> coverage map. Or something. <laughs> yeah, that's a they've done a lot of fields. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Gravel versus the vegetation. Mm -hmm. Did you guys think about the maintenance and watering and all that? How much is it going to cost? Do you understand what I mean? Yes, and that's why we thought that it would be more beneficial to us to do the gravel. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's over a hundred thousand dollars additional. Um, for gravel and removing the sprinkler systems and um, so and again I even the architect we couldn't really understand we thought it was going to be a decrease um, because they wouldn't have to put all that stuff in but you know in a perfect world we'd much prefer to put gravel and then we could just spray the weeds you know still continue to build the trees and, and shrubs but um, 
so you don't have the weeds and stuff. The, t yeah. the, reason, the reason I ask is because you look at the place, we don't have enough people to take care of what we have now with the exactly weeds right. and everything. Mm -hmm. And the watering, we don't have enough water. That's the reason I'm asking. Well, how does it balance out with 100,000 you said mm -hmm. in the future in 10 years from now? because we'll have to redo it in 10 years from now. We do all the sprinkler systems, everything again. So that's what I'm looking at, you know, but you guys decide what you want to do, but that's the way I am thinking. With mm -hmm. the maintenance, with the vegetation, mm -hmm. equipment to cut the weeds and everything. Right now we can't even control what we have. Right. So that would add a lot more. So, you I mean, exactly it doesn't matter. spray the weeds when they're between other plants. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing, of, the thing of it is, I guess that you can't spray the weed. I mean, the weeds, a person can come and spray it if they're small. Mm -hmm. But if we let them get so big, it's hard to get them killed. Well, we or, never get them right away. Yeah, but yeah. If, they, if they get them, you know, if a person will get them right away. But that's what I'm, I don't, I don't, I like, I, I would rather have vegetation. Mm -hmm. It's prettier and everything, but it's just, what I'm thinking of is just the main. So yeah, it's it's really what it's whatever you whatever whatever you all want to do. I'd love to have it. I'd love to have the gravel if you guys are good with it. <laughs> I think I think I, I agree with you know the, the maintenance piece of it and hopefully cumulative. I mean that's sort of how we arrived at even the idea of coming up with this is yes. you know, we're we're struggling to maintain yes. the fields and so yes. this yes. is a little less maintenance, so hopefully that's more time. Yes. Uh, and then you know the, the water benefits. Like, and like I say, there ain't nothing prettier than weed. Well, there's the, no, just kidding. Because well, there's the top of my <laughs> but, but it is, you know, there's nothing prettier than weed. Look at the fields now that God has blessed us with this rain. But the thing of it is that it's just the maintenance for it, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and take it. I think the gravel ain't going to kill all the weeds. No, we they're still, still going to come, gonna come, but we, have mm -hmm. to, we can come spray. But yeah. They're better about that. Where you know we we get on that. It's kind of like a, yes. you know the gravel that's it's, it's, it's on the, yes. the landscaping that, that we that's do. Easy, so. That's easy to take care of. You know mm -hmm. the gravel, and if, and, if, if, and if the wind blows over and the dust fills up the gravel, you can just go out there and Pull just it out. yeah, just go out there with a tractor or something, just yeah. move it around, and the gravel all comes back up. Well, and you know one of the other things that Antoinette and I really liked about the gravel is that. Um, also, it'll keep the dirt and stuff down yes. from getting on yes. the, the turf. Yes. Um, and yes. So that's another barrier between dirt and the turf. And because because I, 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 when I was sitting here and you were talking about it, I was sitting here looking at it and I was looking at the weeds that would be there, you know, would be nastier than what the gravel would look. So yeah. that's the reason that I'm saying that I would rather spend that much more money and get the gravel done. Then to go ahead and get vegetation and sprinkler systems, and because in the future they, they you never get the sprinkler systems right, especially what especially here in New Mexico with all the wind blowing. Yeah. Yeah, yes, always, always, yes. Yes. always spewing out yes. the parking yes. lot. <laughs> yeah, okay. 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 I said much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, one thing that's really been interesting is I've talked to different families in in our communities and. Uh, you know, just kind of bounce some ideas off of them and express some of the struggles. And I mean, the, the, every person that I talked to or every family that I talked to basically said the exact same thing. I thought it was already a go, you know, because we'd taken the action last time to yes. you know, put it back out to bid. And it, it really made some people nervous. You know, they, they just assumed that it was a done deal and full steam ahead, you know, so uh, it felt weird. You know, I was like, well, I would be no, ready. don't, don't, don't count on that just yet. But the thing of it is that people don't understand yes. that we can't just jump into something. Yeah. We gotta think about it and talk about it and make sure that we're getting the best deal for our money. You know, I'd love to have the best, but yeah. it's not in the long run it's not gonna it's be really not so we we have part of the reason of doing all of this too was because of the water issues. Yes. Right? And so. see we gotta think mm -hmm. we don't we don't wanna just jump into it, but we need to sit and think about it. We can't talk, the problem with with our board is that I can't call, say Charles, or Elizabeth, what do you think about the gravel? <laughs> if we do, we have a rolling quorum, so we gotta wait, we gotta think, bring all our so thoughts. So you brought up the gravel on my we gotta, bring all the, we, we gotta bring all the thoughts to this table yeah. right here. See? Um, 
Mrs. Hollis, we would probably have to pay, play a few of the beginning games of the season on the old fields, um, but so we could have like early a huge opening season. night or something yes. on the old oh, yeah. yeah, that would be kind of neat mm -hmm. to do something like that for the kids. That would be, be awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time coming. It's been. 20 years. <laughs> 20 plus years. Yeah, that they got moved over there temporarily. And yeah, I think that exactly. we could actually bring it back to the campus because it's not even on the campus anymore and have it there part of the whole athletics. Because let's be honest, I mean, kids, kids come to school not to learn. They, most, yeah, most, most kids, <laughs> most kids, kids not to learn. They come to school because their friends are there, their sports are there, their activities yeah. are there. It may not necessarily always be sports, but yeah. you know, it's, it's the activities that keep it's them the activities that keep excited. Them. And that's what, and that what makes our teachers and keeps their, their mental job health. hard mm -hmm. you know. to keep their minds straight. Mm -hmm. And it keeps their mental health to a certain yeah. degree. You know. Mm -hmm. No, and it's, and it's, and they need to, to. They, don't, they don't have PE in the morning because yeah. they got to have some for them. Yeah, that good stuff. Yeah, it's good. I'm pretty happy with what we're doing. Um, you know, in the long picture, it also benefits Marinardi Middle School because right now they yes. don't have their own fields. Yes. They have to share with the high school. So even if the grass isn't there, they still have base paths and that to practice yes. on. Really, I think so that was the only strike was that 5%, I mean, for the most part. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then Ella was enough, about a half million dollars cheaper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another thing, it's like Anton had said that uh, one of them is, that's what they do, mm -hmm. feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if they call me to do feels, I will know what stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We need to get somebody who knows what they're doing to begin with. Yeah, and I think they'll do a good job. I'm excited about it. I think so. I don't want to rush it. I'm still looking. Right. So the base price there, it would add, if we do the gravel and the electrical boxes, you were. It would add $147,000. Uh, that the 147 was the two scoreboards and the gravel, and then we're going to work with Hella on the lights just to make sure we're all on the same page, and we'll bring that back um, in um, probably at the August board meeting. And I might have brought this up in the past, I'm not sure, but um, I remember being at one of the schools for one of our trainings that um, New Senda had donated the scoreboard. I don't know if that's a possibility to try to, I mean, we have a little bit of time. Yeah, or we can, someone that see, yeah. Maybe yeah. We can do that, or we can you know, just hit up our legislators, you know, to see if we can't. Um, something like this benefits uh, so many, you know, beyond just even that campus. I mean, it, it benefits all our communities within our school district, but it's a benefit to the state, you know. And one of the, one of the um, you know, I think that that's something that uh, I think legislators look at. And when we went knocking on doors this last time, I mean, it was kind of evident that you know that they're they're being a little more frugal, and they want to know that it's you know that the scope is wider than, mm -hmm. than just that a narrow view, a narrow view. So I believe that that complex is going to be pretty good for our schools and even. I would put it from the game, we'll try to dig up to the money and put it down. It's only 30, 45 minutes. It's, it's easier to drive from the Yardi than it is to drive from the Rancho. We might actually be able to host some. That's what, that's what I'm saying. It takes the turn. You could have did it first, but that's what I'm saying. Do you have any other questions for Antoinette or Superintendent mm -hmm. Salazar? Okay. So yeah. this one. You I do want to hear your recommendation. So my recommendation <laughs> after hearing this conversation, that I'm very excited, is to, I recommend um, Hella's um, bid with um, add alternate number two and add alternate number four, number two being scoreboards, number four being um, crushed rock, uh, crusher finds, felt fibers, uh, fabric on there, and um, that's my recommendation. So. The bid plus add alternates two and four at 
this time, and I'll be bringing back to you guys one next and the director of board meeting. So we have a recommendation from Superintendent Salazar uh, to approve RFP number 81-23-01, the Yami Jess Multi-Sports Complex, with the addition of add-ons number two and number four. Uh, any other questions? If not, I'll make a motion for approval. Is there room? Uh, changes that then I was going to say it's not like the pretend. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, our board president. Okay, so we have a motion for Mr. Chavez. I'll need a second. So we have a motion and a second. All members in favor say aye. 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 All right, that was the fifth. Motion passes. There it is. We finally pulled. And Mr. Mr. Uh, Anaya is going to be so sad because he's home quarantined and he's not where. Should I? Maybe Joey should text him. And tell him it's not so we can be excited about that. Yeah, sorry. Patience, patience paid off there. Exactly. I think that I think that Joey will be happy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.